everybody. It's Ron Howard, yo pal from Extreme Sequences, bringing you an impartial review of 2022.10 Mac iOS. I would have done this review with Windows 11, uh, but it don't work. <laughs> it's got a few issues, but they'll get it resolved. Now, don't take me too serious. I'm just having fun with this stuff. It's not that big of a deal, but I felt it would be fair and impartial to try to make the Mac world crash while working with it. So I've got a sequence here. I've got some stuff happening. Look at these big things. So I'm going to, I'm going to goof around with this. I'm going to hit render, render, and then I'm going to go to my layout and I'm going to select all. And then while it's rendering in the background, I just want to see if I can force this to do some things. Okay. No, I don't want you in there. I don't want my lights. Let me get my lights out of there. Where are you lights? Let's just move stuff around. Typically when you're rendering, you don't want to touch anything. You just want to, you know, let it do its thing. Don't even look at the monitor too much. It might crash. Uh, certainly in the Windows world, it, it does that a bit more. So what I'm going to do while this is rendering, as you can see down here, and yeah, yeah. Let's uh, right click, bulk edit, pixel size. Let's change these to two. Remember, when you do this, uh, don't do this with your floods or you're going to end up with a big old mess. Uh, look at that. One, two, three. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to save that. And let's go over here to the sequencer. Did it finish? It did. No. Oh, I don't know. Did it render? Well, we don't know because I, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. I'm not too worried about that. Yep. It rendered. Um, the, the other thing, let's do this. Uh, let's do another render. And then let's go over here to our preferences as it's rendering and let's go change something. Let's turn on hardware video decoding as it's rendering. And then I'll X out of this and I'll go to my layout tab and I'll hit save just in case. Yeah, it's good. Let's switch to 3D. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, and rendering's over, apparently. It must be. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, render, let's go to our layout and let's move things around. Ooh, oh, I'm getting dizzy. Yep, no problem there. Let's take this guy. Let's move you back and forth. Just really ju do this in a Windows world, and uh, you know you might actually cause an earthquake. So be careful. Uh, nope, smooth. Gotta love it. How about from two and a half? To, yep, yep. Not you. Just this. There we go. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that looks good to me. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So that wasn't an issue. I'll hit save. Uh, let's just let's just save it. So it's good to see, you know, see the beach ball coming up here. Then I'm going to go to my controllers and go in here while it's saving. And can I see anything? Do anything? Yep. No problem there. Uh, is the saving done? I don't know. Maybe. I would assume so. Uh, let's do another render and go over to our controllers and visualize. Looks good. Rendered in six seconds. That's down here. So it's rendering nice and fast. No big deal there. I am probably using render cache. I've been goofing and experimenting with things. So I would imagine uh, render cache is turned on. It is. So that's cool. So it just, it seems buttery smooth. Now, Kent has, has uh, X lights crashed in Mac for me before? Absolutely. I've probably crashed it maybe three or four times, maybe, maybe five at the most since I've been using it, uh, which is, uh, that's a pretty good ratio considering how many times I've been able to crash uh, X lights on the Windows side. I'm not bashing Windows. It's just, look, I've been using X lights for seven years, most of those on the Windows side. I know what happens when I work on the Windows side. I know sort of what I can get away with. And a lot of times, I can't get away with everything like I can on a Mac, okay? So for instance, if I wanted to close this, and maybe this is different for other people, but if I click X here, or just X lights, quit X lights. It's going to quit it. Just like that. Fast. 
I want to bring back X lights. It's going to open it up. It's going to open it up pretty fast. Boom, there we are. I want to open up that same sequence. Take it, take it, take it, taking care of business. Okay, and it's going to give me the beach ball. It's going to think about it, make sure everything's in place. It's going to open it up. I want to save it. It's going to think about it. Beach ball. I think that I have like something different instead of the beach ball. Like it should just like be party poppers and fireworks and things. That'd be a lot cooler than a lame. That, 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 so the beach ball spinning thing, Mac really needs to change that. That is lame crap right there. It just looks ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and render it again. Well, it's got render cache, so we know it's going to render fast. It's going to render, what, four or five seconds. Let's see what we got going on here. Do, 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 Maybe it's going to take longer. I don't know. But it's rendering. Everything's happening. That must have been like a say. Oh, let's see if we can crash it. Let's see if we can crash it. Come on, crash. Please crash. I'm wondering, you know, so this is interesting. I'm wondering by me messing in these other areas if it's stopping it from rendering it very well may be so let's hit render one more time let's just watch it we'll, we'll let it go to the end just to make sure it truly renders because i have a sneaky suspicion that uh me messing around with all this other stuff while it doesn't crash it it may not be doing a full render so for you folks that are actually going to be rendering uh, in the Mac world with the M1, uh, probably just let it render. So you see down here that it has actually rendered. Um, this is just a test. We just I'm just trying to crash this thing. And I'm not being very successful at it. Maybe if I threw in more shaders and some liquid effect. Maybe if I just, I don't know, maybe if I open up Excel... Maybe that, no, no, no. Unfortunately, the M1 Max is really good at multitasking. And I've got 64 gigs of memory, which is just absolutely overkill for what I'm, I need it for. I do do some video stuff. So, you know, I, I, I have my um, Final Cut Pro here. You know, uh, shoot, Amazon Music might take up some room. Camtasia, uh, which is finally uh, working better. Um, what else do I have in here? Anything interesting? Uh, this is always important because I go to my app store and to see if the new release is out. And it was this morning. So I was able to update to 2022.10 on the Mac side. That's beautiful. Uh, I use this for converting some stuff, which is always good. Logi options for me to go from my Mac to Windows world. When I turn my Windows machine on, which uh, I did yesterday for the first time in uh, a while. And that's it. Okay, so this rendered in 101 seconds. Now, why did it take that long? I have a sneaky suspicion that I have my hardware video decoding turned on. So let's do this. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm just, I'm just, you know, again, we're just, I'm going to save this. And we're going to see if there's a difference with it on or with it off. I know Dan might argue with me on, on this as far as it's better to leave it on. I think it depends on the sequence. I really, really do. So I'm going to render again. And we're going to see what it does. Whether that hardware acceleration is a benefit or not. And I, I think it was it still saving. I don't know. No, no. Let's see what we got here. Come on, man, do your thing. Low numbers. Low numbers is what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. So anyway, uh, for the folks that have Windows 11, yes, I think everyone knows there's a big old issue with a hot mess and X lights in it. People on Windows 10 probably don't notice anything. Uh, one of the things I did notice in Windows 10 is when you go to create a new sequence, some of the graphics looks a little weird. And I tried it on several different resolutions. And I just think there's a little boo-boo going on with some of the uh, interface. They'll get it fixed. Don't freak out. Uh, if you have a Windows machine and you're thinking about getting a Mac, don't do that just for the sake of X-Lights. Be sensible. I mean, if you think you're going to use it 
uh, you know, they'll get it sorted on the Windows side. Keep in mind, the devs are putting together new things or they're cleaning up old things and these all have an impact on existing things. Um, I find this to be less an issue on the Mac side. Uh, I don't know why, you'd have to ask the devs why that is, I don't know. Uh, but consistency for me is awfully nice and uh, in, in not having to worry about things go bump in the night and not really having to worry about upgrading. Um, that's important, but you know, we're all here to give feedback to the devs when things happen and you fill out the GitHub or whatever, or make a video, send up smoke signal, 97 seconds. So a little bit faster. I think what was it was 108 before or something like that. Now it's 97. So it seems to be faster without the video hardware. And again, if you're not doing this for a living, nobody cares. Nobody cares if you're just doing your own sequences or you're mapping. You don't need the crazy speed. Let it do its thing. Go get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. Go catch up on the news. Cut your toenails. Whatever you got to do. I'm going to be sick. Yeah, yeah. I don't like feet. Anyway, uh, that's it. So while we have fun, poking fun at X Lights Windows 11, uh, just know it'll all be fixed. Just have fun. Enjoy yourself in this hobby. Don't take things serious. It's just Christmas lights.